Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 42. This video we're going to be checking out how to work with our staged fuel injection programming. Our staged fuel injection is going to be when we want to control more than one set of injectors. If we have a four cylinder engine and we can't provide enough fuel flow rate through one set of injectors, we can add a secondary set on and we can control both sets, both the primary and secondary independent of each other within our M-Tune software. We're going to jump in and take a look at how to go and work with stage injection and the different types of stage injections that we have to choose from and why we want to choose one option over another when we're working with our Max ECU. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with staged fuel injection programming within our Max ECUs. Our staged fuel injection is going to be something that you may wanna consider using on a high horsepower, high fuel flow rate based application. So if you're dealing with a four cylinder drag rest application and we can't get enough fuel flow rate through a single set of 2200 cc injectors, you're gonna need a secondary set of fuel injectors to provide additional fuel flow rate above and beyond what those primary set of injectors can actually deliver to the engine. So our stage injection can be used for very high power um, alcohol based type uh, applications or you may have a situation where you like the way the car drives, it starts and it idles on a smaller set of injectors that might be a 500 cc injector. It's nice and linear operation, very predictable air fuel, we know we can run it, it's going to drive great but we want to have additional fuel flow rate. Those injectors you have here's your primary set of injectors wouldn't be able to deliver enough fuel to get into, let's say, some higher boost levels. So we can actually add on a second set of injectors. We can have eight total injectors, or in the case of a four-cylinder engine, where we could have something like a 2200cc injector on our secondaries. And this will give you the best of both worlds, meaning you have good drivability, good idle quality, and as you get into boost, you'd have the additional fuel flow rate that you need. You can actually control the second, secondary set of injectors um, based on boost pressure, for example. And you can bring in those secondary set of injectors to deliver the fuel that you need precisely. Very, very simple here with our Max ECU. Let's dig in here. Let's see how we can set up our stage injection um, and just go through a whole bunch of different scenarios of why you'd want to choose the certain programming aspects of stage injection over another. All right, so the first thing we want to do is jump in here to our navigation pane on the side. I'm going to go here from the top under start and go down here under outputs. First thing we need to do is define what injector outputs we have available to control primary and secondary set of injectors. Now normally if you're dealing with the Max, you'll always be, con you'll be tuning and working with primary set of injectors. That's just your single set of injectors that you'd find on most any kind of port injection engine. So in here if we jump into output config, we go into our outputs and we move down into injector output functions. We can see right now my race max ECU has eight total injector outputs. Now I'm controlling a four cylinder engine, which means that I have an, essentially another four injector drivers that aren't doing anything. They're just going to be stagnant. Um, and even though uh, we do have these eight available, I'm only using four of the eight. Now, if I want to add on a second set of injectors, I need to go and define this and, uh, and set this up specific for working with stage injection. We need to go find which injectors and drivers are assigned to the primary injector and which ones are assigned to the secondary set of injectors. So let's go and do that right now. It's very simple. In this situation here, we have our injector output one through four. This is what I'm normally using for my primary set of injectors. And that's what the max is going to assume based on some of the programming conditions here that has already been set up. So let's go take a look at that real quick. If we go to configuration under engine settings, we've defined our cylinder count as four, and we can define our firing order right here. We can see it's gonna be a one, three, four, two firing order, which is very common for a four cylinder engine. Now we've defined these details, and that's important because when we're going in and commanding the injector pulse width, it's going to be assuming here that we're really only using the first four injector outputs. Now we do see we're looking through the outputs here as the engine is, is running, we're seeing here that it's showing a percentage of duty cycle usage through the injector. So technically, injector outputs five through eight are technically being pulsed and uh, they're being utilized and, and mimicking our first four injector outputs, but they're actually not doing anything. They're not hooked up to anything. And um, they're gonna be just essentially dead weight here in the way that Max is controlling the engine. Now, what we need to do is define this and change this up a little bit if we're adding a secondary set of injectors on. So in this case, we need to go into our injector outputs one through four, and we need to go and define them as our primary set of injectors. Let's go do that right now. It's actually really easy. This is now gonna be telling the max that these are the primaries, and then we'll define the secondary set of injectors and the drivers associated with that. So just to be very clear here, injector output one 
through four. This is gonna be our injector output controlling our fuel injector number one cylinder, then number cylinder two, and cylinder three, and cylinder four. We've defined the firing order of these particular injectors right up here in our one, three, four, two. That's just wanted to make note of that. If you're wiring your injectors in, you'd have to keep that in mind as you're wiring them in. So injector output one goes to cylinder one, two to two, three to three, four to four. So we're using our first four outputs here defined as primaries in the way they're gonna be functioning. So we're gonna go into select here, and we're gonna to be toggling off injector output and actually setting this as primary injector one. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.